back to my sewing room. Actually, it's my sewing corner in my dining room. Today's review is McCall's 7627 right here. I used a poly rayon suit fabric for this, so it's kind of thick for a dress, but I really love it because I'm only going to be wearing it in the winter and fall anyways, so it's perfect. This dress was a pain in the butt to get to fit right. After reading the pattern reviews for, uh, for this one, everybody said that it runs big. So my measurements, I have a 43 inch bust and a 39 inch waist right now. And technically by those measurements, I should have made a size 22. I didn't, I made a size 18 and it was still too big. I wouldn't have been comfortable wearing out in public the way that it was like it just the, the fit was so wonky so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna take the dress off the, the mannequin I'm gonna turn it inside out and show you what I did to fix it but before that I also wanted to tell you that I added pockets I added fairly large pockets here's a picture right here of how big they are and then I sewed it into the waistline seam so that it would kind of support the weight of anything that I put in the pockets and I can put so much stuff in these pockets and you can't even tell because the skirt is so full, which is wonderful. So for that reason, for the full skirt, I might make this dress again. If it didn't have the full skirt, I would probably scrap it because it was so hard to get the top to fit. Um, but anyways, I'll go ahead and show you the inside part of the dress now. Okay, so here it is. I'm going to leave it untied. Um, and give you a little bit of a more of a close-up to show you the alterations that I did. The first alteration I did was because this was so I had so much extra fabric here um, was I put a diagonal dart from the top of the tie band down to the waistband like that and then that brought it um, so that it would fit snug to snug to my body and it wouldn't gape anymore but after I did that as you'll see here it kind of goes down a little bit so what I had to do was take it up this way and sew it straight I did a terrible job a terrible job here's my pockets though I love the pockets um, yeah luckily this fabric with the plaid like you can't really t you can't really tell too much like but if, if I was to actually show this to somebody who was really good at sewing and expected me to be good at sewing, I would be really, really embarrassed by how this turned out. But nobody's going to be looking at it that close. And another nice thing about this dress is that this tie band is so thick that it covers it covers the waistline anyways, so all of my mistakes are hidden underneath that tie belt when I'm wearing it. It's just when I take it off and I hang it in my closet or if I were to show it to somebody that I would start to feel a little bit embarrassed about my sewing skills. Um, yeah, so McCall's 7627. If you're going to make it, do a mock-up and make sure that you get the fit, get the fit right on the bodice um, before you get your nice fabric that you want to work with so you don't end up with some kind of monstrosity like this on the inside of your dress. Oh, and then here also, I pinched it, I pinched it and tucked it and sewed it down. I didn't sew a dart because I didn't want any weird like points or like that. So when I'm wearing it, it just has this little wrinkle right here underneath my, um, my bust line, which I don't care, I'm fine with, but I don't know, it might bug somebody. Probably would bug somebody, but it doesn't bug me. I love it. I kind of want to make a matching hat with it. And then I made a little matching um, face mask with a little bling on the nose piece. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on and go out for a photo shoot so that you can see what it looks like when I'm actually wearing it. 